When troubleshooting licensed server communication issues, it's important to ensure that your Silk Performer machine can communicate with the licensed server machine outside of Silk Performer. To do this, you can use commands such as ping and telnet through the command prompt. For example, when pinging the remote machine, you should see a response time for the communication. Whereas an unsuccessful ping will return could not find host for an invalid name. Similarly, when using Telnet, a successful connection will simply respond with a blank screen. Whereas unsuccessful communication will respond with a message like could not open connection to host. If the telnet command is not recognized through the command prompt, you may need to install it through the control panels, add and remove windows programs. If you're able to both ping and telnet successfully to the license server machine, but are still unable to connect for a Silk Performer license, it may be that the license server machine is in a different domain or subnet of the network than the Silk Performer machine. If this is the case, search our community knowledge base for the term subnet, which will return an article which explains how to use network address translation in the host file to transform this correctly. It's also worth checking that firewall or antivirus are not blocking communication in either direction, and that the silk meter proxy service is running on the licensed server machine. Installing Silk Performer locally on the licensed server machine to confirm if local communication is successful can help narrow down where the issue lies.